Hello YouTube, it is I, the amazing Jenny Insultus, with another video, and today, I saw this post like a week, a week or two ago, and I just wanted, wanted to read, um, this uh, post, and, and just share my thoughts on this. If there is one thing that social media has done, it is to give fools and hypocrites a platform to put their stupidity and judgmental attitudes on display. I can't even imagine to tell you how many times I have lost respect for someone because of what he or she has written or posted on social media. Social media has given these people the opportunity to shine a spotlight on themselves and show the world who they truly are. And they unwisely jump at the chance to do so. Fools, fools speak everything they think, literally whatever crosses their mind, and they give little to no reason no, no little to little to no real thought rather about what they are saying or act or the accuracy or wisdom of their words most of the time they are speaking purely from emotional reactions instead of rational thought as lincoln said better to be remain silent silent and be thought a fool than to speak and to remove all doubt. There are a lot of people who should give this wisdom some thought. Fools and hypocrites Fools and hypocrites on the net on the internet do have one thing in common. They love to judge other people and events. It doesn't matter whether or not they have re any real knowledge about that person or the event in question. They simply cannot control the urge to judge others and throw, put their two cents out there. Actually, it is an exaggeration to call their judgment their two cents. Their two cents. As that is a couple of pennies more than, than it is worth. But hundreds of dollars less than they think it is worth. The wise man, on the other hand, speaks sparingly and cautiously. Pref prefers to observe rather than judge and gains wisdom and knowledge as he watches he does doesn't speak about things of which he has no knowledge of nor does he judge people or events without knowing all the facts he understands that he rarely knows all the facts concerning other people or events wise man men understand that they that the truth usually lies hidden deep below the surface and is more complicated than it is it seems at first sight and as such it is unwise to pass judgment with only surface level intelligence much less to speak with only partial knowledge. They also know best than to put, than to allow their emotions to dictate their words. Wise up, stop putting your ignorance on display. Bodai Sanders, author of the bestseller Men of the Code, available from Amazon. Yeah. If that's that's quality was that's quality 
That's some quality truth right there. I've got something like let's let's I had something to basically say. When men have no enemies, they create them. When men have seen the worst of humanity, then they tend to think the worst of, about all of humanity. One man becomes paranoid, which causes an, another man's paranoia. You never know what went on in the minds of people until, until you talk to them. These are the dangers of fear. Lao Tzu said that there is no greater misfortune than underestimating your enemy. Underestimating your enemy means that means thinking that he is evil. Thus you destroy your three treasures and become an enemy yourself. Jesus of Nazareth said something similar. Stop judging so that you won't be judged because the way you, that you judge others will be the standard or be the rather the way that you will be judged and you will be evaluated by the standard with which you judge evaluate others why do you see the speck in your brother's eye but fail to notice the obstruction in your own eye and if these people who who can and if these people on the internet were were sincere in their practice and their and in their their what they genuinely thought, then they would probably be worth taking seriously. But unfortunately, most most if not all of these people described in that um, that one particular. Um, Post don't live up to their um don't live up to their to what they claim it's one of one of the most unfortunate things there's nothing really genuine in what they say or do it's either just done to, to get clout or it is just um out or it's just done to um, get people into trouble and make big stink about the crap, which has which doesn't really matter at all. You know, you're better off you're better off just just being being, being getting an on God 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 the honest job and 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 being living a sincere man's life than you're living a charlatan, a virtue singular on the internet. 